Good evening, my beautiful brothers and sisters in Yeshua. Today is Tuesday, the 13th of August, 2024. It is 8.43pm here in Australia. I hope you're doing very well and I hope you've been blessed. Our brothers and sisters, tonight's video is just going to be probably a bit shorter, but um, I've just been watching this video here and I really want to recommend that you watch it too. And I'm just going to talk a little bit about the reasons why I think it's so important to watch this video and to really feel peace from it so obviously you can see by the title of the video it's atheist dies and finds there is life after death this is a near-death experience video now um, I really started watching NDEs at, from the beginning of this year because a lot of you guys know who've um, been with me for a while, you know, at the end of last year, I started really looking, you know, is this rapture real, all this kind of stuff, really searching and, you know, <clears throat> doing that spiritual walk and everything like that. But I found that the one common denominator out of all the things that I was really searching for is obviously the kingdom of heaven first, right? But within that, I can be comfortable with everything or anything rather, no matter how hard or uncomfortable it is to learn and unlearn things and all this kind of thing, as long as I know that there's life after death. And, you know, many of you guys are probably thinking, of course there is, you know, the Bible says there is, you die and, you know, if you're a good person, you believe in Jesus, yes, you go to heaven. But, brothers and sisters, what I have found and what has given me the most peace and I suppose the reason why I'm sharing this is because I want to share my peace with you because I know this is such a confusing and scary time with everything that's going on in the world but believe me I have never found more peace in my life than I have in the last couple of months and just watching this video tonight has really really reaffirmed just this great peace of no matter the whole world could be falling apart and I am just so happy and so blessed and just so you know walking with the father walking with Yeshua and just appreciating and being grateful and thankful and that that's enough it really is enough and <clears throat> so the point I'm trying to make here is with these near-death experience videos you can see from all walks of life from atheists from different religions you know judaism and muslim and hindus and all this kind of stuff every new death experience video and there's millions of them this is not just a rare experience every near death experience um all uh have this one thing in common that there is life after death and as soon as you pass from this world into the next you are surrounded by overwhelming love peace acceptance it's just the way these people describe it that's what I'm searching for I cannot wait to go home <clears throat> like I always say you know if it wasn't for my kids take me home right now like I'm ready to go but um I my real heart for this video tonight is to to share the joy, the happiness and the comfort of knowing that um, it's going to be OK. We like I always say in all my videos, just don't look, just don't look, turn the TV off, you know, get off social media if you have to, to um, stop filling our minds up with. Um, you know, the negativity, the fear. I always used to say to my kids, you know, don't watch anything naughty or bad on TV or, you know, anything like that because your mind is like a camera and, you know, it takes all these pictures and then when you go to sleep at night, it's got to sort through them and this is why we get weird dreams and sometimes nightmares and all this kind of stuff. So I said, be very careful in what you watch and listen to, right? And... um this is the whole reason that I'm put on this earth, I swear, was to walk the the full fundamental Christian walk with the rapture and the, you know, the hardcore, you know, the rapture's 
you know, it's real and it's going to happen. We're going to get sucked up away out of here and then people are going to go through the tribulation. There's going to be Armageddon, all that stuff. I was truly meant to walk that walk and then come out of that. And then hopefully with my journey, you know, I've been able to take you guys along with me to see that this is not a bad thing, us looking and searching. We've got to be Bereans. We're instructed in, you know, in the Bible to be Bereans, to study, to see if these things be true. And the one thing, brothers and sisters, that I can say <clears throat> assuredly, without a doubt, is that there is a beautiful thing waiting for us on the other side. Whether we get there by death or whether we... Um, grow so much spiritually that death is not really an option and I can see why the Bible says you know that you know why Christians and pastors and stuff will say you know there's some here that are standing here right now that will not see death okay to me obviously my views are that's already happened that was 70 AD but in the gospel of Thomas the very first saying, and there's 114 sayings in the Gospel of Thomas, and brothers and sisters, you need to read the Gospel of Thomas. It is the original Q document that like scholars and everything will agree that this is more than likely where Matthew and um, Luke got their writings from, and Mark and, and Paul, right? This is the Q source, and this was found in the Nag Hammadi Library in 1948 whatever it may be but the first saying in the gospel of thomas so these are just basically the sayings of te uh, jesus there's no other drama you know him being born and all this kind of stuff um the first saying is those of you who um find this truth and understand this truth you will not see death so it is saying to you that when you search for the kingdom of heaven, which is inside you, and Jesus even says this, when you search and search and search and finally peel back enough layers to go, oh my goodness, it's been right inside me all along, and you understand that, you have this peace that death means nothing. <clears throat> it's just a, um, a momentary um, time shift change, you know what I'm saying? Um, but... Basically, brothers and sisters, I don't want to make this too long of a video because I know my videos can be quite long and I might I know there's some of you beautiful brothers and sisters that like my long videos and bless your hearts. Um, but I just I really, really, really wanted to come on here today because, you know, I just don't have really a big calling to come and do videos anymore. But when I saw this today, I really had that you know, nudge on my heart, my spirit to say this will help a lot of brothers and sisters to sharing the peace that you get from it with your brothers and sisters. It's really going to help a few people, you know, even if it helps one or two people, that's awesome. Um, you know, I, I know I get emails still to this day telling me to watch this and watch that. And, you know, I'm going down a dangerous path and all this. Brothers and sisters, <clears throat> I love you and I appreciate and understand your your intentions behind that but I am at more peace on this walk that I am right now than I ever have been in my entire life and I'm no longer fearing you know this whole rapture watching and um, you know for those of you who didn't watch my last video that I did I explained that Matthew 24 has already come and gone the great tribulation has already come and gone the mark of the beast has already come and gone this all happened a long time ago so if you haven't seen that, go back and watch my last video. But, um, you know, my job now is to come out, a uh, deconstruction of Christianity, I like to call it, um, is to deconstruct and unlearn everything that I've um, learnt or in be, been indoctrinated with, I should say, and then, um, you know, pick up the walls of that temple and rebuild the stones, <laughs> pun intended. But... Basically, um, yes, again, I'll just leave you with this video and watch this video and, and don't go into it with preconceived ideas, you know. You've got to realise, I heard the other day that 
Christians, a lot of Christians will view these near-death experiences as proof that Jesus exists. But what I don't understand is why are they not showing this to the people? Be, you know, because this is the most encouraging thing ever, because this is our biggest question in life, right? What happens when we die? And yes, it's wonderful to have faith and just believe in what you've been told. But when millions upon millions of uh, testimonials from atheists, non-believers and, and believers and Catholics and Jews and Muslims are all saying the same thing. This is this is the real treasure, you know what I mean? It's I, I just really want to share uh, my journey with you and I hope you go on this same journey of watching near-death experiences from all walks of life because they have the same common theme and that is everything is going to be okay. What you need to do right now, brothers and sisters, is um, love and light, love and light. And I know that sounds hippie and we've gone down this road before, but it is basically the most simplest way I can put it, is we've got to love one another as we love ourselves and um, be kind, be gracious, be uh, charitable, you know, look after the poor, feed the poor, clothe the poor. A lot of us have excess that we can easily give away you know to help others um, it doesn't have to be material things either it can be you know going and visiting your elderly neighbor once a week for a coffee and a cake and and just bringing joy into their life and I really something's coming to me now because a part of this video she was a this lady here was a scientist I think a geologist or something like this and um, she was very, you know, analytical and things like this. And when she died, her um, her guide that was, you know, with her was showing her life experiences. And one of the life experiences she saw was when she was very young, her and her sister used to fight all the time. And um, so this lady here said something really horrible to that sister. And so when she was watching this life memory be played back, she was actually feeling how she felt. But then when her sister walked out of the room without retaliating, she was able to see how much it hurt her sister. And this broke, broke this woman down in tears. And immediately, this is the reason why I wanted to make this video tonight. It's because that is the most important thing in the entire universe, brothers and sisters, is kindness. We have to be not we have to be it should be our um natural state of being is being kind you know to love one another no one is better than the other we're all in this together you know all the different religions all this and all that you know we've always been told you're right i'm wrong rah, rah, rah. you know i'm right you're wrong etc etc it's always to divide in every facet of life but the reality is is we need to unite and realize the beautiful gift of the human experience that we're having and when we uh, finally do get through this whether we die or whether we um, spiritually evolve to not having to die um, we're going to want to look back on our lives and not like be oh boy I wish I didn't do that or I she didn't say that we want to, because she also explains too that she was in the supermarket too and uh, the cashier was having a bad day or whatever and this lady smiled at her and said, you know, have a good day and it showed her how much joy and, and happiness it gave that cashier. So, on, you know, what we say, what we speak, what we do, our actions, our words, all this stuff really matters. And um, so that that's really my whole uh, thing for this video tonight, brothers and sisters, is to show you this beautiful video, watch this one, and then just binge on a playlist of near-death experiences. You will get this ultimate piece of going, oh my goodness. Because all these people, the first thing they say is, um, I remember. Instantly, I remembered where I was and I knew that I was home. And I'm just, that t makes me tear up every time because that's what we're looking for, isn't it? Isn't that what we're all looking for, to go home? 
and they all say it they all say it millions of people who have gone through this experience that they're home they're surrounded with love and they're greeted with like I'm so glad you're here I'm so glad that you're home you know so I'll leave it with that brothers and sisters I hope this video blesses you I hope you go on a big binge fest of these um, near-death experiences and I know a couple of brothers and sisters have um, wrote to me previously in emails sharing their near-death experiences and they've said the same thing too um, it's going to be wonderful it's going to be okay it, better than okay it's going to be perfect go and live your life be happy be kind but also enjoy it to the best of your abilities do everything and everything that you do do it to the best of your abilities you know and just no regrets brothers and sisters go and live your life stop worrying about world war three stop worrying about the rapture stop worrying about all the indoctrination that the church and the world and the social media has put into our lives it's time to let that go now you know, I've really been enjoying watching cat videos. I never thought I would ever say that. I'm more of a dog person. I love cats. I love all animals. But, you know, more, much more of a dog person. But boy, for the last couple of weeks, I've been, just been watching funny cat videos. And it's so nice just to laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh without, oh my goodness, look, at look, you know, there's a World War Three starting or somebody did this and somebody shot this person and blah, 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 blah. Okay, just surround yourself with love and light and happiness and joy, joyfulness and kindness and charity and um, be, be the light, be the light that we're all called to be. All right, I pray that the Father blesses you, I pray that the Son blesses you, and I pray that you may grow and be blessed in your walk with the Father. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video, and yeah, binge watch near-death experiences. Okay, good night, love you.